2020, nakakatakot na taon. Tala ang kaso ng coronavirus disease. Kumalat ang sakit sa mahigit isang daang bansa. Nakakatakot yun kasi kailangan magsara lahat ng bansa. Parang ang dilim dilim. Matapos na ito dito at magkaroon talaga ng panibagong pag-asa sa mga susunod na taon. I am still. Narito pa rin ako. I still am. Alive. Buhay. Dahil buhay, bago. I am BBB. I am BBB. Ako ay BBB. Ako ay BBB. I am Binibini. Live from the Big Dome, this is the 57th Binibining Pilipinas Grand Coronation Night. Presented by Binibining Pilipinas Charities Incorporated. In partnership with Araneta City, Cream Silk, Smart Araneta Coliseum, and in part by Silka. Alexandra Panlilio, proud to be an independent woman from Cavite. Discipline and excellence are the values I embody. I am Lois Ann Badando from the SHU, capital of the Philippines, Marquina City. Celebrating the capital of the Philippines 450 years, I'm Patricia Maria Garcia from Manila. Maya Pabengi, I am Arian Desiree Biardo from the Christmas capital of the Philippines, the city of San Fernando, Pampanga. From the marine wonderland of Luzon, I am Princess Ken Estela Gonzon from Occidental Mindoro. Mabuhay ang Pilipinas! I am Shannon Jumail Tampon from the monumental city of Caloocan. I am Meiji Akulana Cruz from the vibrant city at the northern gateway to the metro, Valenzuela City. From the land of thousand colors, I am Patricia Denise Babista representing Quezon Province. Peace and love from my heart to yours. I am Shira Rona from the heart of Metro Manila, Mandaluyong City. Greetings from the cattle trading capital of the Philippines. I am Maureen Montang, representing Padre Garcia, Batangas. My name is Bianca Luis Marcelo from the fireworks capital of the Philippines, Bocawa, Bulacan.
Mindanao, Cagayan de Oro, Miss Samis Oriental. From the land of mystical mountains and hot springs, I'm Alexandra May Rosales from the province of Laguna. I'm Justine Felizarta from the coconut province of the Philippines, Padada Davao del Sur. From the heart of the Philippines and the city of love, I am Karen Lori Mendoza from Iloilo City. I am Kimberly Ledesma Tikas Tikas from the home of noble heroes and great Filipino poets, Balagtas Bulacan. I am Hannah Arnold from the melting pot of cultures and languages, the rodeo capital of the Philippines, Maspate! Representing the rice granary of the Philippines, I am Maria Ruth Erika Quim from Nueva Ecija. I am Gabriel Camille Bashano from the city of the Golden Sunrise, Barangan City, Eastern Samar. From the land of the best festival of the Philippines, I am Love the A Mercado of Roja Isabella. I'm Karina Carino from the surfing capital of the north and the emerging heart of agritourism, La Union. From the culinary capital of the Philippines, I am Sharina Joylet Mangiao from the province of Pampanga. This is the new Representing the City of Angels, I am Maria Francesca Taruk from Angeles City, Pampanga. Greetings from the Art Cradle of the Philippines. I am Honey Cartasano, representing the province of Rizal. I am Nariza May Valerio from the home of the mystical mountain goddess Maria Sinukuan, Araya at Pampanga. I am Rochelle Lehman from the home of indigenous Mangyans, Oriental Mindoro. Representing the marble capital of the Philippines, I am Danica Joy Peralta Cunha from the province of Romblon. Celebrating the 55th anniversary of the city of volunteerism, I am Alexander Faith Garcia from Olongapo City. Maayong gabi, Pilipinas! I'm Mercedes Perrin representing the festive island of Cebu. Alae mabuhay! I am Maika Emrasal from the land that will rise from the ashes, a Concilio Batangas. I am Leslie Anticaro from the city that champions indigenous cultural communities, Tagum City. Buenas noches, I am Bellatrix Stan from Asia's Latin City, Zamboanga. From the melting pot of cultures of the South, I am Honey Ben Pareñas from the province of Sultan Kudaraj.
welcome your hosts, Miss Grand International 2016 first runner-up, Nicole Cordovez, and Miss Universe 2018, Catriona Gray. Magandang gabi, Pilipinas! Welcome everyone to the Binibining Filipinas 2021 Coronation Night. And good evening to all of you watching us, especially to all of you pageant fans, wherever you are, the long wait is over. The new beautiful Bini Bini has finally arrived. A new beautiful evening to all of you. We'll be making a lot of firsts in pageant history tonight. Like, and this is just for starters. Do you know that this is the first ever pageant in our country that will air live and to add to that on multiple channels and platforms as well, such as A to Z, The Familia Channel, Metro Channel, and I Want TFC. Can we just say that again? Live for the first time ever? Because during yung time namin, right? Delay telecast. Delay telecast. Yung crowning lang talaga yung moment na live. Exactly. But since we're coming to you moment by moment, expect a lot of pure, real, unedited excitement. And that actually begins right at this very moment because we are about to announce the winner of the Best in National Costume Award. One Bini Bini was voted by the public as their top choice for this award. But before we announce who she is, on behalf of the Bini Binis, I would like to thank our generous and talented Pinoy designers. This competition is definitely a solid testimony of the amazing and world-class creativity of every Filipino designer. Very true. And the Best in National Costume Award goes to Bini Bini. Our Bini Bini from Nueva Ecija, number 18, Maria Ruth Erica Quinn. Presenting the award, here is Mr. Raymond Saldiana. The national costumes get more and more spectacular every year. And I love that every year there's a bago story to tell about the Philippines' culture and history. And it's true, this batch showed incredible versatility and in showcasing our amazing culture. But we're just starting this year's round of competition. And guys, whether you're watching us on TV, on cable, or online, you better hold on to your seats for just a little bit because we'll see you in a short while. Earlier, both Nicole and I mentioned the words new beautiful, which is exactly what we're looking for in this year's search. The new beautiful Beanie Beanie, whose breathtaking beauty and elegance are equaled by nothing else but their compassionate and sincere heart. And helping us select these new beautiful Beanie Beanies, we have, of course, our distinguished board of judges. Let's meet all of them now, beginning with... Judge number one is trained under the most renowned fashion institutions of New York and London and one of the Philippines' top fashion designers as well. He is none other than Mr. Rajo Laurel. Our next judge is the multi-awarded broadcast journalist and one of People Asia's Women of Substance. She is Miss Pinky Web. Here in the city of first, she is the first Filipina general manager of Novotel Manila, Araneta City, the official home of the Bini Bini Filipinas. She is Miss Maria Garcia. Our fourth judge is the founder, president, and chief executive officer of Everbilena Cosmetics Incorporated. He is Mr. Giselle Dossi. Our 
Our fifth judge is an actor, dancer, recording artist, and commercial model, and an animal rights advocate. Give it up for Mr. Enrique Hill. Our sixth judge is actress, mental health bill proponent in the Philippines, the World Health Ambassador in Southeast Asia, and Miss International 2016, Miss Kylie Versosa. Our seventh judge is an actress, model, and children's rights advocate. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Liza Soberano. Our eighth and final judge is the current spokesperson of the Department of Tourism. Please welcome Assistant Secretary Ms. Benito C. Bengzon Jr., who is also sitting as our Chairman of the Board. We would also like to acknowledge our BPCI committee who are with us tonight. World-class designer Mr. Raymond Villanueva and trustee and executive committee member, Ms. Irene Jose. And we would also like to acknowledge members of the committee who cannot join us live because of the current circumstances. We have a renowned painter and patron of the arts, Mrs. Betsy Westendorp Brias. And joining us via Zoom is BPCI Vice Chair, Mrs. Conchitina Bernarda Sevilla. And of course, the chairperson of BPCI, Mrs. Stella Marquez Araneta, and chairman of the Araneta Group of Companies, Mr. George L. Araneta. Congratulations, BPCI. We also have with us representatives of the Araneta family, director of Uniprom Incorporated, Ms. Viana Araneta Forres, Asia's best female chef, Ms. Margarita Araneta Forres. And we also have Ms. Ria Ojeda here with us tonight. Thank you so much for your presence. Before we proceed with our rounds of competition, let's give out some special awards to keep our Bini Bini's momentum high. Handing the envelopes to us is Mr. Alan Ocho, partner of SGV and Company. Thank you so much, sir. Our official tabulator of tonight. Let's begin with the friendliest Binibini voted by none other than her fellow candidates or the most loved Filibini by their batch. Right. She will take home exclusive gifts from BPCI. Miss Friendship is from Tagum City, Davao. Binibini 32, Leslie Anticaro. From the friendliest Bini Bini to the most talented. Chosen from a competition held last February 2020, the winner of Miss Talent will receive exclusive gifts from BPCI, and she is the Bini Bini from. Bokawe Bulaka, number 11, Bianca Louise Marcelo. Next up, we have the face of Bini Bini 2021, also known as Miss Photogenic. She will also receive exclusive gifts from BPCI plus 25,000 pesos in cash and a Fuji Camera XA3 from Picture City. The face of Bini Bini 2021 is our Bini Bini from. Manila, Bini Bini number three, Patricia Mariah Garcia. Next, we will be awarding the winner of Miss Alagang Silka. She will be taking home 50,000 pesos in cash plus 50,000 pesos worth of Silka skincare products. Miss Alagang Silka 2021 is... Bini Bini 24, Francesca Taruk from Angeles, Pampanga. One Bini Bini 
was chosen by JAG as our JAG Denim Queen 2021. And she will take home 50,000 pesos in cash and 50,000 pesos worth of JAG apparel. Our JAG Denim Queen is... Beanie Beanie number... 17, Hannah Arnold from Maspate. From apparel to shoes, World Balance has a range of products fit for our Bini Bini's active lifestyle. The winner of Miss World Balance will receive 50,000 pesos in cash plus 30,000 pesos worth of products. Miss World Balance 2021 is our Beanie Beanie from Olongapo City, number 29, Alexandra Faith Garcia, who's a sports enthusiast, actually. Our next special award is chosen by our official makeup provider, Ever Belena. She will take home 50,000 pesos in cash, plus 50,000 pesos worth of Ever Belena products. Our Miss Ever Belena is... Beanie Beanie number 10, Maureen Montaigne from Batangas. award is Miss Pizza Hut 2021. She will receive 50,000 pesos in cash plus 50,000 pesos worth of Pizza Hut gift certificates. Manlilibra siya after this pageant. Very true. <laughs> and Miss Pizza Hut 2021 is... Thank you, sis. Bini Bini number 15, Karen Laurie Mendoza from Iloilo. Certainly not least, the winner of the Manila Bulletin Breeders' Choice Award was selected via a text poll, and she will receive the classic Manila Hotel experience worth 100,000 pesos and a one-year free subscription of Manila Bulletin. The Manila Bulletin Breeders' Choice Award goes to Beanie Beanie. Beanie Beanie 31, Mika Rosal from Batangas. Presenting the award for Miss Friendship is Patricia Fernandez, Binibining Filipinas International 2008. For Miss Talent, we have Jeanette Fernando Dizon, Binibining Filipinas Tourism 1993. For the face of Binibini 2021, Maxine Medina, Binibining Filipinas Universe 2016. For Miss Alagang Silka, Senior Brand Manager of Silka Skincare, Miss Eunice de Belen, Brand Specialist of Silka Skincare, Mr. Cody Zachary Caranto. For Jack Denim Queen, Miss Grand International 2020, first runner-up, Samantha Bernardo. For Miss World Balance, Marketing Director, Miss Mary Lynn Go, and Sales Director, Mr. Prime Asprer. For Miss Everbilena, the Chief Operating Officer, Mr. Siliman SC, and Attorney Leia C. For Miss Pizza Hut, Binibining Pilipinas Intercontinental 2019 and Miss Pizza Hut 2019, Emma Mary Tiglao. For the Manila Bulletin Traders' Choice, Public Relations Manager, Miss Badet Kunanan, and External Affairs Head, Mr. Barbie Atienza. Congratulations to the winners! Coming right up, it's the announcement of the top 12 finalists, so stay where you are! Nicole and I are delivering to you tonight the first ever all-female hosting of a Beanie Beanie Filipinas Coronation Night. <laughs> and to add to that, for the first time ever, both of us were also given the opportunity to be mentors of the candidates. That means that we were given the opportunity to relate to their stories, to hear where they've come from, what they're going through through this pandemic, making all of us really understand what they're fighting for tonight. And it also makes us truly pageant sisters. Right, Beanie Beanies? Yeah. <laughs> However, 
It is heartbreaking that some of our candidates had their journeys cut short due to different challenges brought on by the pandemic. Thank you to Vicky Rushton, Hazel Joy Ortiz, Bea Santa Rosa, and Gila Salvador. And remember that once a beanie beanie, always a beanie beanie. And so as we approach the finish line, we have 34 new beautiful beanie beanies, but only 12 of them will proceed to the next round of the competition. Handing the envelope to me now is Mr. Alan Ocho. Thank you, sir. As each finalist is called, she will deliver a, deliver a short message about her pandemic experience, and we will all be able to have a small glimpse at the personality and character of our finalists. Sino sino kaya ang nasa top 12? Well, we are about to find out right now. Here we go. Good luck, Beanie Beanies. In no particular order, the first finalist is our Beanie Beanie from Eastern Samar. Beanie Beanie number 19, Gabrielle Bastiano. It, is it, it has been more than a year since our Beanie Beanie dreams was postponed. I am standing here because I want to show to you that there is still hope. With a strong faith and determination, we can achieve a new beautiful day. The second spot in our top 12 belongs to Beanie Beanie. Patricia Garcia from Manila. COVID-19 brings us a timely message, allowing us to challenge existing systems in our country. As a public servant, I realize the importance of good governance for the protection of the lives and health of the Filipino people. share her heart with us is Beanie Beanie from Ilo Ilo Beanie Beanie 15 Karen Lori Mendoza I have my fair share of silent battles during this pandemic but I stand here tonight knowing that mental illness is not a sign of weakness Remember, you are heard, and you matter. It's your turn to step into the finals, Beanie Beanie. Beanie Beanie 27, Graciela Lehman from Oriental Mindoro. is in a kilometer zero of a new journey after this pandemic. And while we're all regaining the smiles and the praises taken away from us, as the cabin crew, I am happy and grateful to be of service for fellow Filipinos. Take a breath because you're in the finals, Beanie Beanie. Beanie Beanie 24, Francesca Taruk of Angeles, Pampanga. The greatest lesson that I have learned during this pandemic is to be more grateful, to appreciate the little things in life, the laughters that we share with our families and friends. Those are the things that truly matter. Sixth spot in the top 12 belongs to Beanie Beanie. Beanie Beanie, seven, Medji Cruz from Venezuela. This 
pandemic reminded us that we are all equal and can be infected by COVID-19, regardless of our social status, age, race, religion, or gender. But with compassion, respect, and unity, together we can heal. but I'll keep you hanging for just a little while as we continue the announcement of our top 12 after this short break. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Vini Vini Filipinas 2021. Let's continue with the announcement of our top 12. Are you ready? The seventh spot in the top 12 belongs to Bini Bini. Bini Bini 23, Jasmine Timakulangan from Alpine. During the pandemic, Albay was badly hit by Typhoon Ulysses. By holding a fundraiser for 300 families, I was able to witness the grit, resilience, and generosity of the Filipino people. By working together, we can get through anything. The next stop, spot in our top 12 belongs to... Our Bini Bini from Cavite, Bini Bini One, Samantha Panilio. My family is in the tourism industry, and the pandemic shook the sector hard. However, I know that with perseverance and commitment, we will survive this so that we can once again showcase our beautiful Philippines. The next spot in our finals belongs to our Bini Bini from... Quezon Province, Bini Bini! Patricia Batista. Getting through the day can be as difficult as overcoming adversity. Being a frontliner has taught me to face this new world and fight for a healthier, braver, kinder humankind. You can now sigh a breath of re relief, Bini Bini. Bini Bini 25, Honey Cartesano from Brazil Province. We were all caught by surprise by this pandemic. During the lockdown, I questioned my purpose and worth. However, after I volunteered in an organization that shares light to our Kababayan, I regained my purpose and realized that indeed, kindness will always prevail. Only two spots remain in our top 12. The one who belongs in our finals is Bini Bini. Bini Bini 17, Hannah Arnold from Maspate. As a forensic science graduate, I would like to see our country invest in science and technology. Let us encourage our students to become scientists and together we can prevent another pandemic. Only one spot in the top 12 remains. It is your time to step forward and continue your journey, Bini Bini. Bini Bini. During the pandemic, I witnessed firsthand 
the true beauty and strength of community. Together with friends, we started the Shargao Community Kitchen, which provided hot meals and assistance to frontliners and families in need. This taught me that together, we can overcome any obstacle. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it, this year's top 12. But, hold on. We've got a wonderful surprise for everyone. Last July 3rd, the Bini Bini Filipinas app was launched online where fans had a chance to vote for the Bini Bini who they chose to be included in the top 12. Now the Bini Bini who topped the poll will automatically be included in the roster of finalists, making it not only 12, but 13. There is only one spot left but I just wanna take this time to recognize every single woman that is standing on this stage. These Bini Binis are a testament that a Filipina fights for her dreams. No matter the obstacles, no matter the challenges, they made it here tonight to be on this stage. And that in itself needs a round of applause. Thank you, Bini Binis. You are all queens, but I have one name in this envelope. This year's People's Choice and our 13th finalist is none other than... Bini Bini 12, Cinderella Faye Obenita from Cagayan de Oro. your tourism operations officer who assisted homebound Filipinos during the pandemic, I realized that no virus could kill our individual and collective dreams. There is no insurmountable fear when we fight for family, community, and country. Congratulations to our 13 finalists. The crowns are still in reach, but the competition has gone one level tougher. So stay in fighting form and keep going, Bini Beanies. Laban Lang. Meanwhile, Nicole is about to present another pageant first in the Philippines. Nicole, how's it going over there in the chat room? Hey, Kat, I am having a grand time here at the first ever live chat room of Bini Bini Pilipinas. Kaya naman, kahit na walang live audience dito sa Araneta Coliseum or very limited lang. By the way, mga beshies, miss na miss namin kayo dito. Feeling ko naman sobrang connected tayo this year because we will get to chat. Pagchichikahan natin yung mga bet nyo online. So keep commenting on all our social media platforms. And by the way, I just got wind that we are actually number one trending on Twitter. So keep using the hashtag Binibini Pilipinas 2021. At gusto namin marinig kung ano ang thoughts nyo at kung ano nga ba ang pulso ng Pilipinas. Okay, so we heard the statements of our top 13 a while ago. A lot of lessons learned, a lot of stories of hope about the pandemic that has affected all of us. And to ensure safety here in Binibini Pilipinas, we use air purifiers provided to us by UV Care, your trusted partner in germ protection. And thank you also to ISPS for keeping all of us safe here and to Katao for our Binibini Pilipinas accessories. So let's chat come on this time with some of our virtual audience here tonight with us. We have Drew Francisco, our, an editor from Missology. Hey Drew. Hi Nicole, how are you? Oh, I'm I'm having a very, very grand time here. It's still so exciting. Pero kayo, mga keyboard warriors natin na team bahay, Drew. Tanong ko lang sa inyo, no? Ano yung pinaka na-affect ka na message from the statements kanina of our top 13 finalists? Yes, I love all of all of the speeches, but uh, there were two girls that really stood out for me. Number one was Miss Manila. Uh, challenging existing systems in governance that was very timely, relevant, and impactful. And uh, Miss Iloilo, Karen, uh, where she mentioned about mental illness is not a sign of weakness and that you matter, that was mic drop moment. 
Yeah, it's very relevant right now, no, Drew? Iba talaga pagka pageant media, merong breakdown ka agad eh. Thank you so much, <laughs> Drew. Eh, kayo ba? Sa online world, agree ba kayo sa mga pics ni Drew? Everyone is welcome to comment and chime in, especially in our interactive poll, where you can vote for your favorite mini bini during the swimsuit round and later on in the evening gown competition as well. So to vote, please follow this link, Binibini Pilipinas Online Voting.com. This link will also be posted on the Binibini Pilipinas Facebook page. So if you happen to be there, click on the link. This poll is sponsored to us by UpLive. The day has moved on, and here at the swimsuit competition, it's almost twilight as we meet our 13 finalists in swimsuits designed by Doms Ramos in cooperation with Maktumang and shoes by Jojo Bragais. Set again the majestic views of the Philippines captured during the Mate Magic Hour. Featuring the music of L.A. Santos of 7K Sounds with the song, Anong Pangalan Mo? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Bini Bini Pilipinas 2021 Swimsuit Competition. Bini Bini 19 from Borongan, Eastern Samar, Gabriel Basiano. Rejecting the concept of brains or bronze, Gabby is a professional model and a businesswoman with an interest in water sports. Vinny Vinny 3 from Manila, Patricia Maria Garcia. Patricia promotes homegrown cacao through her business and at the same time supports our local cacao farmers. Bini Bini 15 from Ino Ino, Karen Lori Mendoza. Karen is an adrenaline junkie. She loves traveling, surfing, wall climbing, and hiking. from Oriental Mindoro, Graciela Lehman. After a breast cancer scare, Graciela, campus journalist, cum laude, and flight attendant, has become an active volunteer for breast cancer awareness and treatment. Bini Bini 24 from Angeles City, Pampanga, Maria Francesca Taru. While being a model, actress, and blogger, Maria also takes pride in staying one step ahead of her adversaries as a competitive chess master. Bini Bini 7 from Valenzuela City, Meiji Aculara Cruz. Meiji practices yoga, which greatly contributes to her holistic well-being. She believes that there's a light in every person that we can share to others. Bini Bini 23 from Albay, Jasmine Timakulangan. As a marketing associate, Jash works in a very public industry. However, she cherishes her alone time as an introvert by traveling alone. Bini Bini 1 from Cavite, Samantha Alexandra Valillo. Samantha is the niece of the first Bini Bini Filipinas universe, Mirna Padlillo. She hopes to continue her aunt's legacy. Bini Bini 8 from Quezon Province, Patricia Denise Babista. Patricia is currently an assistant business manager, but secretly she dreams to be a race car driver. Becoming a teacher is among Honey's greatest dreams. Until then, she immerses herself in literature, learning other languages, and mountain hiking. Bini Bini 17 from Masbate, Hannah Arnold. Hannah works as a sleep scientist, but also does modeling, a perfect combination of beauty and brains.
Binibining 10 from Batangas, Maureen Montaigne. Maureen learned how to sew during the quarantine period, and now she makes all of her own clothes. Binibining 12 from Cagayan de Oro, Misamis Oriental. Cinderella Faye Obenita. Cinderella enjoys exploring new places and experiencing new adventures, which helps her promote the tourism potentials of their province. Beanie Beanies, you are giving us confidence and poise, and those were some stellar performances. Ano naman ang dating sa audience point of view? Let's hear what Nicole has to say. Hey there, on point queen. Dito at hampas to on the hips at parang gusto ko rin mag-add to cards sa swimsuit natin this year. Go Dom's Ramos! Wow! So, I know that a lot of you were voting on the poll a while ago by Up Life, but balita ko is na crash daw kanina because ang dami-dami nag-vote ng sabay-sabay. Iba talaga ang fans ng Pilipinas. And now, as we mentioned earlier, we've heard your voices through our poll. And here are your top three Pilipinis for tonight's swimsuit competition. They are... Do we have the results now? Are the results in? We have the privilege of a live stream online interview from the Philippines all the way to Toronto, Canada. Over the past months, many of us have followed her journey pertaining to her health condition. And tonight, we will see how a truly empowered woman and a compassionate queen remains an inspiration to many despite life's daunting challenges. Joining us tonight live, let's all give a warm welcome to Miss International 2013. Bea Rose Santiago. Hi, Bea! Hi, guys! Hi! Good Hi. evening to everyone. Thank you for having me. And of course, hello, BPCI. Thank you for having me. Such an honor. Grabe, immortal talaga yung beauty mo, Bea. You look stunning as ever. So, Bea, kamusta ka? Okay, I'll repeat the question. Wow, candidate pa ulit, eh, no? Bea, kamusta ka? We know that you're undergoing a medical condition right now. Please tell us about it. And we want to know how you're coping, especially in this pandemic. Uh, yes, Nicole, I have IgA necropathy. It's an autoimmune disease, and I'm currently on, on sta um, end-stage uh, renal failure. I have, um, I'm currently waiting for my transplant and um, I'm currently undergoing dialysis five times a week. I actually have a, I actually have my machine up in my room. Bea, I actually heard that you had to undergo training for yourself, but uh, you can administer this at your own, at the comfort of your own home. So despite the pandemic pa that we are facing, you also have your own health condition. Yung tanong namin lahat, saan ka kumuhugot ng lakas? Where do you get your strength? You see, Nicole, it's either you get better or you get bitter. And it's really that simple. You have to take what life or what has been dealt to you and allow it to make you a better person, a better version of yourself, or it will consume you. Yeah. I don't want my pain to make me a victim. I want my story, my, my battle 
to make me someone else's inspiration. Thank you so much for that, Bea. Kakaiba talaga yung strength na pinakita mo sa aming lahat. And you are truly an inspiration. You're such a strong woman. But Bea, I would just want you to know that you know what? Your win is one of the most memorable ones for me because it was the year that the Philippines faced one of its most devastating typhoons, which is Yolanda. And you were like this symbol of hope that time. Now, sobrang natuwa yung buong Pilipinas sa pagkapanala mo at a time when it was so hopeless. And I feel like we're sort of in that same predicament as well. So we would like to know what words of inspiration would you like to share to our next Binibini Pilipinas International this year who would be the symbol of hope in the pandemic? Um, I really can't hear anything, but I'm trying my best to answer as much as I can. But I guess the question is about my experience as Miss International and as a beauty queen. Um, my experience as Miss International um, and as a beauty queen and as a KF was full of awesomeness, smiles, and just positive energy. And that energy was the one that, ins I mean, that energy inspires confidence. And so I learned that if you want light to come into your life, you need to stand where it is shining. So I always think positively. You have to think positively. And that you are braver than you believe and stronger than you think. And I think that's the kind of mindset I choose to live by. Thank you so much, Bea. So much, you know, so much. Even though Bea didn't hear the question, she still never Thank fails you, to give us a message of hope. Bea, mabuhay ka! Among all the major titles in the world of pageantry, the Philippines has been the most successful in the Miss International pageant. Here now is a celebration and a tribute as well to our Binibinis who slayed and ruled and gave pride to the Philippines on the Miss International stage. Let's all watch this. International Daiju Philippine Daiju Aurora Pihuang Ayusho. Miss International 1979 is Miss Philippine. 2005 Miss International is you, Miss Philippines. Miss International 2013 is Miss Philippines. The glorious 2016 Miss International goes to Miss Philippines. I mean, if there is unity, then we can definitely achieve peace. That is what Miss International is all about. Having the Miss International crown empowered me. It gave me a platform to be able to inspire, to encourage, um, and give hope to other young ladies as well. Miss International is so very, very close to my heart. It's a celebration of diversity of different girls around the world. As long as we have each other, there will be hope. And I believe I am prepared to take on this responsibility. Because I have always believed that our hope in our future lies in the children. I discovered my love for acting. You know, if I had not been Miss International, I don't think I would be a inspiration to other young women. I was able to start my own organization. It's called Mental Health Matters. Part siya ng kabuon ko bilang tao. Kaya sobrang grateful ako sa organization. You will once be a inspiration and you will always be a inspiration. We can see that through many Binibining Filipinas winners from before who are still inspiring so many people today. Madami talaga ako natutunan with the organization. Yung pagiging leader, yung pagiging proactive. Parang doon nagsimula yung buhay ko nung nanalo ako. International. The new beautiful Binibini does not let anything stop her from pursuing her dream. Always a inspiration, no matter what is happening in the world around her. From the freshness of a new beautiful morning to the soothing and enticing feels of the world-famous sunset in the Philippines, our new day has reached its glory with the charm and elegance of a romantic tropical night 
Philippine style. And here in the Philippines, these nights are filled with beautiful music. Ladies and gentlemen, featuring the song aptly entitled Bini Bini by Zach Tabudlo, here are our Bini Binis in their gowns and wearing shoes by Jojo Bragais. This is the Bini Bini Filipinas 2021 Evening Gown Competition. Hood symbolizes the hope of unmasking those worries and going forward. Porongan Eastern Samar. As a modern Filipina, I am ready to take center stage and share my light during these darkest times. Manila! Voice of a better world. Angeles City, Pampanga.
I chose this red gown because it reminds me that I always have the power to ignite the fire in me, despite the challenges life throws at me. Valenzuela City. This gown is a collaborative effort between me and my sister. I chose this color and style because it makes me feel sexy yet sophisticated. My gown embodies confidence and celebrates the strength of my character. Wearing it radiates my vibrant soul and positive energy. Cavite. I always wanted to wear something white and fresh for my first stint at the national stage. White is the color of new beginnings, and this is only the start of my journey. Kazan Province. The gown is an ode to the Manila Carnival Queen, which inspired pageantry in the Philippines. This piece symbolizes the royalty of a true queen, the Pini Pining Pilipinas Queen. In my biggest milestones, I have always had a touch of pink with me. Tonight, I carry this color in my reveal, which represents my transformation through life. Must body. chose this golden gown to represent strength. This pandemic has taught us that we need to look inside to find our golden treasures within. Batangas. When I dream of winning a Binibini crown, I look up to the sky, 
which inspired my gown and pray to God to turn this dream into reality. Cagayan de Oro, Misamis Oriental. Jackie Clarino, Martin Bautista, Cana Designs, and Mac Tumang, and Janice Fine Jewelry. I am truly impressed by the poise of these ladies, and I'm sure everyone else feels the same way, including this Bini Bini who reigns and rules on the chat room. Any favorites in this round, Nicole? Hey, Kat. So let's just say that na I na ako sa note, ng note ng sa mirrors ng girls na inuwi ko na nga pala yung gown nyo. Dala ko na sa maleta ko, palabas na araneta. So they will find their gowns there. Ang daming magagandang gowns ngayon, Kat. So I will read some of the comments we found online. From A. Lieva, sabi niya, right decision, BBCI, the song matches the evening gown competition. I totally agree. Hanggang ngayon, kinikilig pa rin ako sa kanta. And from Gotta Love Regine, sabi niya, I love how they showcase the gowns too. And the designers, by the way, I feel like they gave a proper tribute to the talent of our Filipino designers. Luis Domingo naman said, I love how this segment highlights the gown designers. Ayun na nga, on point ka rin, no? Pareho tayo ng comment. And also, ang gaganda ng gowns. And we apologize to all the pageant fans out there who tried to vote on our poll kasi na-underestimate nila ang power ng pageant fans here in the Philippines because the crash you websites and so many people were voting online. But the results that we got so far is number one, here are your top three swimsuit um, votes. Number one, binibining 23, Jasmine Timakulangan and Hannah Arnold in the pink dress, diba? And we also have Alexandra Faith Garcia. Pero gusto ko lang din idagdag doon, yung reveal ni Gabby Basiano, iba rin naman. So talaga, ayun, yun, sure, uuwiin ko talaga yung gown niya. <laughs> Pero magpapaalam naman ako. <laughs> All right. And in the virtual audience, by the way, we have someone very special watching with us. She is Miss May Cecina Parsons, the Filipina nurse who first administered yung pinakaunang COVID-19 vaccine in the world. Talaga, nakaka-proud naman talaga maging Filipino. And also, we soft launched the first ever Bini Bini merchandise. You may want to check it out, add to cart, and order and pay via the BiniBiniPilipinas.com website. And thank you again to why hello there flowers and also thank you so much to my avignon clinic family sir chris cachuela thank you to color bar for my hair color and beyond dental for my smile hang on to your seats don't change the channel because more exciting moments are just waiting for you after this short break Celebrating once again because of the exceptional performance of this Bini Bini, who did us all proud last summer. Here with us tonight, let's all welcome Miss Grand International 2020 first runner-up, Samantha Bernardo. Sam. Hello, Nicole. 
Grabe, <laughs> first time ko makita yung crown in person. So, Sam, sobrang proud kami sa iyo. I think hindi na ako nagkulang sa pag-examen na nagpakita nun. Pero <laughs> tonight so kasi we will be crowning a new MGI sister na i-welcome natin sa Miss Grand Family yes. natin. So now, I would like to ask you, what do you think are the three qualities we must look for in the next Miss Grand International Philippines? I'm sure alam na alam mo to, Nicole. She should be fighter risk-taker and purposeful. These are the things that I have become throughout Miss Grand International journey. And even despite this pandemic, I am beyond grateful for Binibining Pilipinas Incorporated. And I hope that the next MGI queen will embody that too. I am sure that we can relate to me, right? Yes. <laughs> and I hope that we can get the first Filipina MGI. Oh, parang gusto na namin talaga ng golden crown. Yes, Baka naman I know. this year na. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> so thank you so much, Sam. Samantha thank Bernardo you. is just one of the many Filipina queens who have installed the Philippines at the top of pageantry, making us a true super powerhouse country. Let's get to know more of these queens whose crowns have empowered them to become achievers and inspirations to many. They strive for greatness and ultimately rule the universe. They are queens, ultimately beautiful, never settling for just good, conditioned for greater. make you a queen. It gives you the opportunity and power to inspire and also become a symbol of hope to many. I remember winning. Wala blackout ako as in. Like, first, I, I just thank God that he gave me this crown. And I am not the woman I am today if it's not because of the organization. One of the highlights that Miss Globe really focuses on is tourism and really promoting Albania. The history, the culture is so much different from us here in the Philippines. I traveled so much during my reign and it helps me to understand more and widen my perspective in life. Miss Intercontinental is all about the power of beauty. I'm so grateful that I was the first Filipina to bring home the crown and made Filipinos proud and um, made history. I believe the advocacy of Miss Intercontinental is to promote your country and also have a bigger understanding of the differences of each country that are there to represent. I believe it has opened so many doors for me and I'm very grateful for Miss Intercontinental and being being in Filipinos as well. Congratulations to our first runner of Miss Grand Philippines! We are living under one sky. So let us all live peacefully. Where love is our language, humanity in our lives, and peace is our lasting legacy to the world. The Miss Grand International had a say of stop the war, and that was, that was its slogan, stop the war. And so the resilience and the strength and working towards peace. And so for me, I really was looking into things where I could help. It will be the first ever Miss Grand crown for the Philippines. And so I think that's something to look forward to, you know, something new, something fresh. That's like a new way to celebrate as well. Try to see the light and everything. Hopefully you can envision that crown on your head. The new beautiful Bini Bini is someone who is strong, someone that is responsible and grounded, unapologetically herself, and be that positive light. This segment is brought to you by Cream Silk the official hair care partner of Binibining Filipinas 2021. Great job, queens! Anytime soon, perhaps one of these special awardees we're about to reveal will join your ranks and give our country the same honor you've given us. And thank you for the envelopes, Mr. Alan Ocho. Our first special award was chosen by the official hair care partner of Binibini Pilipinas, Cream Silk. She will receive an ambassadorship contract with Cream Silk and one year supply of products. Miss Cream Silk 2021 is our Binibini from. Patanga! 
Podcast, Pinipini Ten, Maureen Montang. Next up, we have our best in swimsuit. She will receive exclusive gifts from BPCI, and our best in swimsuit goes to Bini Bini. Bini Bini 7, Meji Cruz from Be Valenzuela. Next is the Best in Long Gown Award. She will also receive exclusive gifts from BPCI. This year's Best in Long Gown goes to Bini Bini. Bini Bini 19, Gabrielle Bassiano from Eastern Samar. As a part of Araneta City celebrations this year, one Bini Bini will take home the title of Bini Bini Araneta City. This is another first from the City of Firsts. The winner will have an Araneta City endorsement contract worth 500,000 pesos, and she is none other than Bini Bini. Bini Bini 24, Francesca Taruk of Angeles, Pampanga. Congratulations. To present their awards for Miss Cream Silk, Gazini Ganados, Bini Bini Pilipinas Universe 2019, and Miss Cream Silk 2019. For Best in Swimsuit, Mr. Doms Ramos. For Best in Long Gown, Mr. Jojo Bragais. And for Binibining Araneta City, Miss Margarita Araneta Flores and Araneta City Marketing Manager, Miss Marjorie Go. Congratulations to the winners. The highly anticipated Q&A round is up next when Binibining Filipinas returns. And we're back for the exciting Q&A. And, oh, here she is. Surprise. <laughs> I can't miss out on the Q&A portion, sis. I know, it is one of our favorite segments, no? Yeah, kaya nga, this time, I wonder who will ace and slay the question and answer portion. We'll find out as each finalist will pick a card that contains the name of our judges and celebrity guest panelists who will ask a question, but they will not be judging them. And they will be given 30 seconds, and when their time is up, they will hear this sound. <laughs> Adding more spice and flavor to this round, we have invited celebrity guest panelists and their names are on this table as well. If the finalist picks his or her name, we will connect via Zoom for the all-important question. But they will not give scores to the finalists, like I said a while ago. Let's just make that clear. They're joining us for the global-wide interactivity we could achieve through the digital medium. Sounds great. So let's get started with this round, starting beginning with our first finalist, Bini Bini 3. guest panelist that I picked is May Sestina Parsons. Bini Bini 3, turn around for your question. Magandang gabi, Bini Bini. This is my question for you. If you can speak to all Filipinos abroad, what are you most proud of as a Pinay despite the grueling and difficult pandemic situation in the Philippines? Filipinos are known to be resilient people, and we have proved this because we have overcome the pandemic. Although the pandemic may not end, but we see that Filipinos are fighting strong, even if they are undergoing problems or they lost their livelihoods, they are fighting for their family. And my purpose here as your Bini Bini is to be able to help all Filipinos become stronger and inspire them as well. Thank you. 
Thank you, Beanie Beanie number three. The next Beanie Beanie up is number 15. Celebrity guest panelist, Mr. Boy Abunda. Kindly turn back to the screen to see your question. Bini Bini, good evening. And this is your question. Ngayon, madalas nating naririnig na it's okay not to be okay. My question is, when is it okay not to be okay? And when is it not okay to be not okay? You know, sometimes it's hard to move on, especially that if we lost our loved ones, when we're depressed, when we have anxiety, but most of all, when we want to move forward in life. You know, my favorite saying in a movie, Disney, Inside Out, is embrace your sadness, because in embracing your sadness, you will feel, uh, you will, you will feel happiness afterwards. Thank you. Thank you, candidate number 15. Very graceful through that very challenging question from the king of talk. Definitely. And up next is Bini Bini number 19. Kindly step towards the table and pick your card. My judge is Miss Maria Garcia. Good evening, Bini Bini. Good evening. My question is, in what ways can a female public servant or politician can be more effective than a male politician? Well, I really understand that all of us are doing our best to, be, to give the best service to everyone. And I can say that men servants are very strong when it comes to making decisions. And with women, they are very... Uh, they are very passionate when it comes to the things that they are doing and they're very sensitive with the feeling of the other people and that's what makes women servants different from men. Thank you, candidate number 19. Up next for our question and A round is Bini Bini 24. not an easy position to be in the grace under pressure needed in a situation like this definitely cat and the questions are so beautiful profound and relevant as well my judge is under secretary benito bengzon jr our chairman of the board good evening good evening here is the question given the pandemic situation now in the philippines should vaccination be a choice or a mandate? Vac vaccination should be a choice. And I still remember the days when we were all longing for vaccines to be created. And now that vaccines are available, we tend to get hesitated because we fear of the side effects. But I encourage everyone to choose to get vaccinated because this is the big step for us to move forward and to protect ourselves and our loved ones. Thank you. Very well said. Thank you, Bini Bini 24. Next up, we have our Bini Bini in the flaming red orange dress, Rachiela Liman. Mr. Enrique Hill. Good evening, Bini Bini. Good evening, sir. Hi. Your question is, what are your thoughts about romantic relationships which began and developed on social media during the pandemic lockdown? To be completely honest, there is nothing wrong with loving relationships that comes from social media. Because as we all know, we have harnessed the power of social media. And this is something that we should celebrate because love 
knows no time, love knows no place. Even at social media, we can meet, meet someone and we can be in love. Thank you. Thank you so much, Graciela. And the last from this batch, we have Vini Vini number seven. Good luck. I have chosen Miss Kylie Versaza. Hello, Meiji. Hi, Miss Kylie. Hello. My question is, these days, beauty queens are also considered as beauty athletes with all the training we undergo. What is your message of inspiration to all Filipino athletes who are competing in the forthcoming Olympics in Japan, given the pandemic situation? As a candidate myself, I understand I, I com and I completely agree that we are like athletes because we, re we are required to be disciplined. We are required to give our 100% passion and focus on whatever we will do. And to our athletes, I know that you are also waiting for this to happen again. And this will happen again in, the, in Japan, and, and it's a good sign, and it means that there's hope, and we are go back to normal. Thank you. Thank you so much, candidate number seven. And that concludes our first round of question and answer portion. Yes, and at this point, konting hinga muna. Let's take some pressure off as we take a quick break. It's our next seven finalists' turn on the Q&A in just a few. the Q&A round, and now it's a turn of these ladies to pick a card. Ooh, earlier, I could feel you just itching to give your own spin on those questions. Laglagan, sis. But I think it's a given <laughs> naman for us Q&A nerds, diba? But the ladies did an exceptional job despite the difficult questions. Yes, we are very proud mentors right now. Okay, so let's hope our remaining finalists enjoy and relish this competition as much as we do. Let's proceed with Bini Bini 23 from Albay, Jasmine Dimitri. Celebrity guest panelist, Congresswoman Vilma Santos Recto. Kindly turn to your, your back to see the question. Magandang gabi, Bini Bini. This is my question. So much has happened to us in the course of a year. When we emerge from this crisis, what positive change do you foresee happening to humanity in general? Something positive that I have witnessed during the pandemic is how resilient and adaptable people are. We have been put through a lot the past year, but still we find ways to help one another and find, um, find ways to help. And at the end of the day, as long as we put our generosity and charity first, then together we can heal and we can get through this crisis. Thank you. Thank you very much, candidate number 23. Up next, we have candidate number one, Samantha Panlilio. I chose Judge Mr. Raho Laurel. Good evening, Bini Bini. Hi. Good, Good evening. evening, Bini Bini. Good evening. YOLO, you only live once. Name something you learned and did for the first time during the pandemic, which you consider as the most life-changing of all. The one thing that I did during the pandemic was actually cook food for frontliners because I love to cook and I also have a food vlog which um, I do in my spare time and it was such a fulfilling and humbling experience you know helping these people and helping contribute to the people who are actually in the front lines helping us 
Filipinos. And so I hope that what I did inspired other women too to also help out one another because the only way that we can survive and heal and recover through this pandemic is if we help one another. Thank you. Just in the nick of time. Thank you so much, Bini Bini One. Next up, we have from Quezon Province, Bini Bini Eight, Patricia Babista. My question will be coming from Miss Liza Soberano. Hi, good evening, Patricia. So my question for you is, fake news, bashing, rants, and the like are abound on social media. Why do you think they should not be part of the new beautiful, even if they encourage social interactions on this platform? Social media is such a beautiful technology that has given us, but there is always limitations. So I hope that in social media, we will create a space well, the, where there is no hate. Thank you. Thank you, Patricia. Up next, we have Bini Bini number 25, Honey Grace Cartasano. Please pick your card. My judge is Mr. Joseldo C. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Bini Bini number 25. Amidst the hardships and suffering the world is facing now, if you're given a chance to face God and ask one question, what will that be and why? If I will be having a chance, chance to ask God, it is, it is why. But I know that everything happens for a reason. We may be facing pandemic right now, and there is so much uncertainty. But this revealed that every Filipino has the heart of a hero. So thank you, God, for everything, even though we're facing this pandemic. Thank you to all the Filipino heroes. Thank you. Thank you, honey. Next up from Masbate is Bini Bini 17, Hannah Arnold. Miss Pinky Webb. Hi, Hannah. Hello. Given the reach and power of social media, do you believe that genuine freedom of speech exists in the Philippines nowadays? Why or why not? First of all, freedom of speech is a basic human right that we all must remember. And it is important for a democracy. And with our upcoming election, we definitely need free speech. For example, on Twitter, we are limited to few characters. And what I have seen from these tweets has been powerful and has helped me think about who I would like to vote for in the upcoming election. Thank you. Thank you, Bini Bini number 17, Hannah Arnold. Next up, we have Bini Bini number 10, Maureen Montaigne. My judge is Secretary Benito Bengdon Jr. Good evening, Bini Bini. Here's my question. Now that compassion is needed more than ever, what is your most recent act of kindness and how did this affect others? During the pandemic, I was in Shargao and together friends and I banded together and we created the Shargao Community Kitchen. It was a trying time and everyone felt how hard it was. Our hearts were heavy, but together we rose. Together we supported our communities and provided our hot meals and assistance to everyone on the island and helped as much as we could. And for me, it proved that together, community conquers all. Thank you. 
Thank you so much, Bini Bini 10, Maureen Montaigne. And we have the last Bini Bini to show her heart. Bini Bini 12 from Cagayan de Oro, Cinderella Obenita. Hi, Kat and Nicole. I have chosen celebrity guest panelist, Mr. Michael Cinco. Kindly turn to the screen to see your question. Hello and good evening to you, Bini Bini. Here's my question. How important are luxury items like bags, clothes, and jewelry for a woman when the national economy is down and struggling? In life, we always find ourselves at a crossroad of choices. Women always have a choice whether to prioritize luxury items when, while we are facing a pandemic, and also they have a choice to embrace a concept of a new beautiful, which is responsive to the needs of the time, adaptive to the change of times. And I think I would choose to be that woman who understands the problems of the Philippines, the problems of my community, so that we would be able to uplift each other. And I would be that kind of woman who would comfort the afflicted and afflict the comfortable. Mayan Gabi, say very well said and thank you to all of our finalists you have shown grace under enormous pressure and I wish you all the best my pageant sisters that officially concludes all the rounds of the competition this year Makakahinga na sila ng maluwag na maluwag talaga. And a big binibini thank you also to our celebrity guest panelists and to Espejo ni Pingoy for our lovely wood art. So the scores are now being tabulated at konti na lang magkakaalaman na sa resulta at kung sino ang makokoronahan. Malapit na! Gentlemen, our 2019 queen. My friend Michael, my best friend TJ, to my partner Mark, thank you. Team Laren, to all the Laren Laren Sintas, to all the talented designers who helped me, to my BPCI family, my heart only beats with gratitude. To Mr. and Mrs. Araneta, thank you for your tremendous support. This is Laren May Magnaya Bautista, your Binibining Pilipinas Globe 2019. Miss Globe 2019, second runner-up. Maria Andrea Abisamis. Always remember that no matter what life throws at you, always keep going. To my dearest Pinibining Pilipinas and my... Inside of us is the boundless potential to become anything we can possibly dream to be. This crown is on my head because of the people who saw that potential. My family, my loved ones, my supporters, my camp, and my team. Because of you, I dared to dream. Thank you, Binibining Pilipinas and Mrs. Araneta, for the privilege to become part of something much, much bigger than I. To my successor, continue the legacy and reign with a purpose-filled heart. The country's hottest young performer is joining us tonight. Please welcome Asia's pop heartthrob, Darren.
subukan ng iyong lakas. Huminto ang mundo na hirapang huminga. Maraming beses nagsabing paalam. Paalam sa mga minamahal, paalam sa mga pangarap, paalam sa mga bayaning nagsakripisyo ng sarili para sa kapakanan ng iba. But it is in the darkness that heroes are revealed. One by one, they respond to the call of duty that requires selfless sacrifice. Who are these heroes? They are all of you. You are holding up a piece of the world together with everyone who heed the call to change. That lifeline, that hope that we're all searching so desperately for, that is the very thing we now build and work towards creating together. Pilipinas, alam kong nakinig ka. Muling mag-aalab ang iyong puso at matapang nating aharapin ang bagong umaga. Kikislap ang mga pituin at mas liliwanag ang iyong araw. Huminga, kumapit, lumipad.
Festival. All roads lead to this moment as we are now about to announce who among our Vini Vinis will be crowned and who will soon raise our flag on the international stage. Handing the envelope once again is Mr. Alan Ocho, partner SGV and company. Thank you, sir. Let's begin with our second runner-up. The Bini Bini Filipinas second runner-up is our Bini Bini from Bini Bini Seven Meiji Cruz from Valenzuela. Yeah. Presenting the award is Maricar Melosa, Bini-Bining Filipinas International 2001. And now our Bini-Bining Filipinas 2021 first runner-up. And she is none other than our Bini-Bini. Bini Bini 19, Gabriela Gabriel Bastiano from Eastern Samar. Presenting the award is Christy Hagari, Bini Bini Filipinas Intercontinental 2015. Now it's time to give out the crowns. And we shall begin with Bini Bini Filipinas Globe. And tonight, Miss Globe's head of events, Miss Mia Spillar, is here to award the winner a pearl jewelry set from Piro Jewelers, the official crown creators of Miss Globe. Who will our lucky Beanie Beanie be? She is. Beanie Beanie number 10, Maureen Montaigne from Batanga. This year's winner is Binibini Filipinas Globe 2019, Laren Bautista, together with Miss Mia Spilar. Three more crowns are up for grabs, and the next one is the Binibini Filipinas Intercontinental. Our Binibini Filipinas Intercontinental is our Binibini. Intercontinental 2019, Emma Mary Tiglau. my heart. It is the Bini Bini Filipinas Grand International title. Will our winner be the first Bini Bini to bring home the Miss Grand International crown for the Philippines? Our Bini Bini Filipinas Grand International is Bini Bini number one, Samantha Panlilio from Cavite. This year's Bini Bini Filipinas Grand International is Miss Grand International 2020 first runner-up, Samantha Bernardo. And awarding her the sash is Bini Bini Filipinas Grand International 2019, Andrea Abisamis. So this is our third Sam in the row for Miss Grand International. That is a crazy <laughs> coincidence. So last but definitely not the least is the Binibini Filipinas International Crown. Our Binibini Filipinas International 2021 is... Bea Patrick. 
Patricia McTannon.